Months after a Tennessee woman's disappearance, nobody reported her missing, not even her husband. But Marsha Brantley's hairdresser, leave it to the hairdresser, became suspicious and tipped off police after she missed a regular appointment. Her husband claimed that Brantley walked out on him, but she left nearly everything behind. behind rather. Here's a preview of Peter Van Sant's report for 48 Hours. In 2009, Marsha Brantley, an aspiring novelist and animal lover, vanished in Cleveland, Tennessee. Nine years later, her husband Donnie was about to stand trial for murder. A case that sounds like a 48 hours mystery. A Bradley County woman disappears without a trace. I knew that something was very, very wrong. Hello. Kelly DeLude was Marsha's hairdresser. What time? When Marsha missed an appointment in 2009, Kelly started calling around and eventually called police. One of the strangest things about this case is that for months, nobody had reported Marsha Brantley missing, not her family, friends, or even her husband. We have a guy who's told numerous lies about where his wife went. Bradley County Detective Zach Pike says Donnie claimed Marsha left him, but it was striking how much she left behind, even her beloved dogs. In this 2013 civil deposition, Donnie didn't want to talk much about his feelings for Marsha. When did she stop being the love of your life? I played the fifth. You charging you with first degree murder. Donnie Brantley was first arrested in 2013. Prosecutors dropped the charges after deciding they didn't yet have enough for a winning case. I don't ever deal with percentages. In 2016, District Attorney General Steve Crump recharged Donnie Brantley using essentially the same evidence. He murdered her. He murdered her. What proof is there that she's in fact dead? To convict Donnie Brantley of murder, his attorney Lee Davis says the state first has to prove there even was a murder. Davis says Marsha had emailed friends suggesting she might go missing and that she was isolated and depressed. She's a smart woman who um, left for reasons of her own. Kelly DeLude wants a jury to decide. If he did do something to her, and if I just let this go, he'll get away with it. Yes, we're actually not At the last minute, a stunning development. I have some rather startling news to tell you. Peter Van Zandt joins us at the table. Good morning. First, Good morning. the hairdresser, because she knows women don't miss their appointments without calling. I'm also a little suspicious because she may leave the husband, but she ain't leaving her dogs behind. That's right. That was a big part of this. She had three dogs. Three dogs that she left. She's not leaving the dogs. She's not leaving the dogs. And that's part of the circumstantial case. That This hairdresser, who's a very special person in this yes. hour, yes. she actually cut the hair of a local attorney and told him about the case. He goes to, t to the DA's office and said, you need to start looking for uh, what I think is a dead woman in this town. And that's how it got going. Was from See what happens at the hairdresser. So other than the fact that the husband didn't report her missing, which is also suspicious. Um, is there any other evidence against him? He told about five different stories about where she had gone. Mm -hmm. he, he said that she had taken her cell phone with her, but in fact the cell phone pinged at the house and he used that very phone within a day or two after she disappeared to call a dating website. He used a phone. Oh, he used call her a dating phone. Website. Oh. A dating website. How quickly this is they not move on. Good. Like John Grisham is somewhere yes, typing. that's right. Thank you, <laughs> Peter. Great. But there is a very dramatic ending to this, which I'll have to let you watch to see. Right. That's called Stay tuned a tease. to the very end. Yeah, that's absolutely. a tease. You can see Peter's full report. It's calling Missing Marsha. That's tomorrow night. It airs at 10, 9 central, right here on CBS.